towards Madeka Bridge, which is next to the Kalang Water Sports Center. Down there, you'll see three yellow boys where they turn around. You can follow the live stream to catch the action at the far end. They will come down the race course, outside the race course, for another turn at the zero meters, going up again for the third turn, and then finishing off again at the zero meters. Okay, so the mass start is one of the start formats for our sport. Uh, it's very exciting, but also can be quite nerve-wracking. Got to maintain your position, get a strong start, don't get hit by the wash from the other boats and don't capsize. Okay, so not easy for these young athletes out there. Okay, and looks like we are about to start. And there you have it, the start of the under 14 men K1 2000 meters straight finals. And there you have it, not leaving anything to chance. We have Javier Lim from Team Singapore leading away, closely behind the yellow boat. Okay, can't confirm who it is, but still very close. Okay, leading the big pack behind. Okay, still anyone's game, especially let's see how they take the first turn at the far end of the race course. It looks like Javier Lim is clearly pulling ahead of all his competitors. <laughs> okay, the school athletes, if you are around here, feel free to come closer to the spectators area and you can cheer on your teammates. Okay, so this, remember, they are the under 14 men, some of them again racing for the first time in conditions that are a little bit challenging. So let's see how they go on this. Hey, those of us uh, joining in the live stream and watching it live, uh, do note there is a 30 seconds delay between the ground action and what you see on the live stream. So catch either action and if you want to play back, of course the live stream option is available. Okay, and here we go, we see the boys making the first turn at the far end of the race course. So this year, we are happy to have many school athletes uh, in this particular race. We have athletes from BT Secondary, Gunning Singh School, Hua Chong Institution, St. Joseph's Institution, and the Team Singapore Athletes. So besides the uh, schools that offer canoeing as a CCA, uh, there are many schools that do not, and hence these athletes come under the Active SG Canoe Academy. Uh, it is a public program open to all, and we have three levels of programs. The boys racing in the K1 are in our squad program, so it means they had to be selected twice to be part of this. 
Okay, the beginner program is open to children and youth 9 to 14 years old. So look out for our Season 4 registration in September for the season starting in October. If you'd like to find out more, please drop by the Active SG Canoe Academy boat shed and we can connect you with the coaches or you could have a look at our poster. The poster is also available in the Water Sports Centre reception area. It okay, looks like the athletes have settled into a rhythm. Uh, we see a line of boats actually and if you're wondering why they are pedaling in like one straight row, it's because they are trying to wash ride on each other. So wash, ride, wash riding is like drafting in cycling where they try to conserve energy based on the hydrodynamics and aerodynamics. But without a doubt, in first place, comfortably, looks like it's Javier Lim. Okay, I can see the boat closer now. So, boat 385, second place. 385 is his teammate from the Singapore National Junior Team, Ethan Lu. Okay, and there's a red cap. Okay, I see the number. If I see a 309, 309 is from Hua Chong Institution, Elliot Lim. They are making very good turns. If you can watch from the live stream or in person, hugging very, very closely to the yellow boys. Okay, here you see a big pack of athletes. Uh, it looks like Kala is trying to make a move. Uh, not quite successful. Let's see how it goes. Okay, fighting for the turn can give them an advantage. Okay, three boats are always harder to turn. 311, 348, 347. Okay, looks like there's a little bit of disruption, but part and parcel of racing. Let's see if anybody will make a sharp turn to hold the advantage. Okay, looks like a good turn from boat 324, if he can complete it. Okay, many, many more boats coming. Uh, we see athletes from Gunning Singh School, Active SG Canoe Academy, Hua Chong Institution, and looks like from St. Joseph's Institution as well. Okay, and at the far end, we see the athletes going for the final turn. Spectators at the boat launching area, uh, if you are near the railing and the security personnel are asking you to move, please do so. Okay, we need to make some space for the boats that are coming up and down. Okay, so please be considerate and give way to the boat movement.
Okay, and here we go. The last 50 meters. Give it up for your favorite pedaler. Let's see, who was the rate cap? 322. Okay, congratulations to Javier. And is that Jacob? Jacob, is that you? I think so. And Ethan, 385. Well done. Okay, the top four boys, Elliot, Jacob, Ethan, Javier, both control now. Yes, I confirm 322 is Jacob Wee from Active SG Canoe Academy Squad McRitchie. Okay, the top four boys again, Jacob, uh, not in order, Jacob, Elliot, Ethan, Javier, come for both control now. Okay, the other pedalers, congratulations on finishing the race, good push. Okay, I can see many of you are exhausted. Okay, thank you for giving your best effort. Okay, you may head back to the pontoon. Okay, boys, I have to ask you to move because other boats are coming up behind. Lucas, Kapai, Ethan, Tok, Ross, please move forward. Move forward. You can take your photos in front. Okay, let's give the others a bit more space. Many boats on the race course coming down. Okay, 2,000 meters is the test of skill and endurance. Although it's not raised internationally, it serves as a good foundation and many countries around the world use this for their developmental programs. Boat 331, if you can hear me, don't do an extra round. Okay, I think he wants to paddle more, so let's see. Okay, congratulations boys, those who have completed your race, kindly make your way back to the pontoon. Okay, we have two more races to go. At 5 p.m., we have the Junior Women JK1 and T1 2,000 meters straight finals, as well as the Under 14 Women K1 2,000 meters. And finally, we'll wrap off with the final race for today at 5.20 p.m. That's event B13, the Senior Men K1 2,000 meters straight finals. Uh, the boat that just capsized, please swim to the pontoon. You are really near. Dylan, swim to the pontoon. Tell your friend to swim to the pontoon. Put your paddle in a boat and swim to the pontoon. <laughs> 